for today, what I'm doing is, is I'm taking tubes off these chestnuts, and some of them I noticed uh, they got some damage down inside the tubes on them chestnuts. I got one that's over that way, callus pretty bad, and I got one up that way. It's got some callus, and well, about three or four of them's got some callus going on down inside the tube. They're bigger than this one right here, but. I thought, you know what, let's get these tubes off these trees and let them just go more naturally. I'll put a fence around them later on to uh, uh, protect them from deer rubbing them. So let's take this one off and see if there's anything bad that I got to look at here. I hope not. Got to try. Oh, there's a wasp in there. Got to try and stay away from the tree itself, not cut into the bark. I'm pulling that tube to me. Give me clearance. Pull her up a little bit, run it down on the face. Let's take her up. Ooh, there's another wasp. Doing this this time in the morning is a plus because the wasps are not flying around. It's chilly out here. And that basically is a pretty good straight trunk. This, incidentally, is my tree plot. I've got a number of different types of trees planted out here. This back section is all chestnuts. I didn't plant the chestnuts in a row because. Uh, I didn't want it to be like an orchard and just let it be more natural. You know, they're just sporadically uh, planted out here, roughly 20 to 25 feet apart. And I got quite a few of them out here. There's, uh, I think, about 54 chestnuts. And this is a lot of years in the working. Uh, when I first moved here, you couldn't even walk through here. You had a lot of wild honeysuckle in here, and I cleared every bit of that out trees that were in here, undesirables, I cut them all down, came in here with a stump grinder, one of those DR stump, uh, stump grinders, uh, and ground down all the stumps, and then I disked it all out, planted it up in clover, and started slowly over the years planting chestnuts. This one here, incidentally, is a La Roca chestnut, and the bigger trees were the first ones that I planted. I planted those in 2009. So, 2009, 2021, uh, 12, 12 years ago, I believe. And they've been producing chestnuts up until last year. The year before last, I had some gall wasps get in here and it really knocked them back. And I didn't get very much chestnut production out of them. And that, that was pretty sad. But anyways, uh, this was all planned out for wildlife. I uh, wanted to draw in deer specifically because I'm a deer hunter. It's my tree plot, as I said. And I planted all these chestnuts to draw them in. They're pretty much already drawn up in here. and. Back behind the camera, I have an area uh, to the uh, northeast side of all this clear out with uh, about 27 persimmons that I started uh, working with in the last uh, three to four years. And I have some oaks over there. And on further out there, I have crab apples, which the deer really love the crab apples. A lot of the wildlife love it out here because of the food source. It's a lot of food source out here. And 
I'm looking at probably about mm, two acres of food source as far as a uh, tree uh, planted out here. It's my, like I said, a tree plot. Uh, I have some Dunstans. I have American Chinese hybrids. I have uh, LaRocca. I got Oki Colossal over there. I've got a number of different kinds of chestnuts out here. And hopefully I get some production this year. It's really, really nice to set a camera out here and watch the wildlife come out here and enjoy it. I even get turkeys out here. Turkeys come out here uh, sometimes uh, and feed. But anyways, brought a memory card. I got a camera set up back here. See what kind of activity I got going on. And I just wanted to share what I was up to. Some of these chestnuts incidentally took on some bad uh, calluses. I think I left the tubes on them a little bit too long. These ones right here, I said, you know what, get these off of these trees. I'll put a fence around it to protect it from deer rubbing. That's just the right size for deer to come in and want to rub into it. Got some good give to it. And deer will work their neck rubbing into that and pushing up against it as they're rubbing and it, it builds muscle in their neck. Yeah, for the right. Anyways, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Any questions or comments that you have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.